Good afternoon. This is Baleo Community Access Television, Comcast Channel 27, and AT&T Channel 99. We are also on internet, and you can look at www.bcat.tv. I am Maria Bitagon. I'm Vice Chair of the Baleo Community Access Television, and this is your Community Forum. We are happy to welcome today our guests, Mr. Curtis Johnston, Executive Director of the Solano Community College Educational Foundation, and Cynthia Garcia, Solano Community College Grants and Resource Development Manager. Welcome to the program both. Thank you. Thank you. Well, I'd like you, I'd like Kurt, first of all, to introduce to us Solano Community College Educational Foundation, the public or I, or we are interested in knowing your role in the successful accomplishment of the missions and objectives of Solano Community College. Well, thank you so much, Maria. The, the first thing that I want to do is thank you personally uh, and all the staff here at VCAT for allowing us to get that message out. So um, as you've asked, I'd like to give you just a little bit of background about the uh, Educational Foundation. Um, it was actually formed in 1985, so it's, it is a mature organization. But um, since last year, Cynthia and I have come on to the college, specifically with the role of supporting the Education Foundation. And, and our mission is to support the community college uh, through fundraising, grants, and other resources, as well as establish an alumni association. So um, since we've come on board in, in the fall, we've prepared our work program. And it's a very aggressive program. Um, right. We have, you know, as we've done our marketing research, there are just great stories to tell about the community college. Uh, the fact that, as an example, literally half of the high school seniors that go on to a California State University or college come to Solano. That's a great story. So we're, we're building upon that stories like that. And uh, there's really three key things that we're doing. Um, one, we have a very aggressive community outreach program. And uh, last night, as an example, we had uh, our small business outreach, uh, primarily to chambers of commerce. Uh, we had 10 chambers of commerce and Solano Economic Development Corporation at the campus last night. It was a great opportunity. I think it's great. I, I'm just, I think it's fantastic. We were all excited. They were talking, you know, for, for the longest time, talking about, oh my God, this is great. Everybody's talking about it. Thank you. You know, as a matter of fact, that small business outreach program, I've got a long history in economic development, and the college yes, is actually a direct service provider. The college runs a small business development center that provides substantial benefits uh, to small businesses. So that's one of our outreach programs. The other one is to a large industry here in Solano County. Uh, we are going to be assisting with the marketing of our career technical programs, some of which we'll highlight in Celebrate SCC, we're gonna talk about a little bit. Um, but we also have, the college runs a career technical um, training programs. We're actually contract trainers. So, that, so we're a direct service provider to a large industry and, and we'll uh, help to market that. But the third and probably the most critical uh, part of our outreach is to the community. Um, communicating to the community the great stories at the college, um, you know, the fact is that, that we're such a large percentage of the students here in Solano College that, that uh, in Solano County that go to college come right to uh, our three campuses. So we're so proud of that. So getting those messages out are, are really, really crucial. How do you relate to Charles Eason from the economic development, uh, you know? Sure. How do you relate to him? Uh, Chuck Eason is the executive director of the Small Business Development Center, okay. um, which is part of a, a nationwide um, program. But he's actually a college employee. So he's an employee of uh, Solano Community College. All right. So yes. now I understand that. Um, I'm very, very excited in knowing who are the members of your board of directors and how do you select them? What, are, what is the criteria for the selection of the board members? Well, since Cynthia and I have come on in the, in the past year, mm -hmm. one of our focuses, we, we have to build the core infrastructure of an organization that can fully support the college. Uh, we've added about five, our, our board members now, we have 11, okay. and we would like to grow that up to 25. Um, 
D. Alarcon is our president, and D. used to be the uh, uh, chairman of the uh, Solano County Office of Education. Uh, Doug Spletter, he's from uh, Fairfield, uh, is a, a local lawyer. Uh, Carol Landry um, works with First Northern Bank in Dixon. And then we've got uh, Catherine Brennan, um, who's from Vacaville, a past uh, board member. Um, but we have uh, Dave Fleming, he's a past uh, city of Vacaville mayor. Uh, Stephen Murphy um, is a local attorney. Dr. Walter Quinn actually grew up in Vallejo, and, and we'd like to get more members uh, from Vallejo. Um, and then we've got uh, Jay Yerkes, he's the uh, Vacaville city treasurer. And uh, of course, uh, Dr. Laguerre, the community college uh, superintendent president and myself are on that board. So we're actively out there in the community um, seeking additional members. We, as a countywide organization, we need new members from Vallejo and, and Benicia in particular. So that's, a, that's an outreach that we're trying to do and I appreciate um, the question that gives us an opportunity. Thank you. Um, at your mixer on April 16, you mentioned the MESA program, Math, Engineering, Science, and Achievement. Uh, how did MESA, MESA originated and what are the requirements to be able to participate in the MESA program? Uh, the MESA program is actually a very critical program. Um, it's Math, Engineering, Science, Achievement, and um, Basically, to become a MESA member, there's a certain capacity. I believe it's around 100 students per year. And these are students who are studying different uh, fields, math, engineering, science. Mm -hmm. They have to be um, low income to qualify for the program. It's a, a learning community that supports these students. And they also um, have to be first generation of college. Wow. So, you know, these are students who are striving to get their education but may not have that educational role model of higher education within their home. So this program provides them the support they need to be successful. And um, these students were actually very critical to our April 16th mixer because they actually volunteered. They realized that they were going to be benefited from the scholarship funds that were uh, generated at last night's mixer. So they put in several hours of assisting at the mixer. And they're stellar kids. I mean, they're doing, I say kids, but really they're young yes, adults. Yes. <laughs> they're, they're adults. Um, and they're very motivated. They work hard. They study hard. They have jobs. They, um, they're just a shining example of the students we have at, at Solano Community College, and we're really proud of them. Yes, I have a follow-up on you. Mm -hmm. uh, which is, uh, well, I met a lot of excited faculty members of Solano Community College at the Business Mixer last night. Oh, I have to say that, this again. I really enjoyed it very much. <laughs> Thank you. And they were discussing the Solano Community College Career Education Fair on April 27. Mm -hmm. So could you enumerate or discuss the new career choices available at the college and also, could you please provide the website or any other information you may want to put out to the public? Mm -hmm. uh, the college's website is www.solano.edu, and that's S-O-L-A-N-O.edu. And there's information on our, our website. Um, we'll talk later about the website we're developing for the foundation. Um, but the Career Technical Education Fair is one piece of Celebrate SCC 2013 which is um, April 27th from 10 to 4. The Career Education Fair is more of a career technical education fair in the sense that it's uh, being hosted by our career technical education department at the school. And what makes this a different kind of fair from um, just say the standard career fair where folks go and they apply for a job. This one is more of a career education fair where you learn about the industries you actually get hands-on, interactive uh, experience that is suitable actually for the whole family. So we're inviting high school students, middle school students, and we're passing the word out um, through the actual schools. So a lot of families and students will be getting this message within, within the next week. Um, but the whole family can come, adult learners, people who are re-entering or needing new careers um, can come and talk to faculty, they can actually put their hands on equipment, 
Uh, there's going to be welding demonstrations. Uh, even our gamers club is going to be participating with um, showing folks how to build apps and games, and, um, and our faculty is, is, is I leading like this that. Approach. Yeah. I really like right. this approach. If, if I may add, just to yes. give you a little context. So okay. the career education uh, department mm -hmm. is everything from nursing to accounting to drafting mm -hmm. uh, to biotech, all of those programs. And, and an interesting yes. facet of this, there was a recent study that came out that showed that community college students with an AA degree actually earn more than students with a four-year degree, a bachelor's degree. And the reason for that, if you think about it, uh, community colleges, the CTE programs, train students for jobs. You yes. know, um, I mentioned right nursing. Away, you know, right, right, really, away, right, right away, right out of college. It could be nursing, it could be uh, fire technology, you know, to be a fireman. You know, it so could be learned. EMT. Uh -huh. You know, there's so many programs. It could be learn how to be an accountant. Um, and then, like I said, we've also got highly technical programs like biotech mm -hmm. um, and those types of things. Where it, one of the stories is about um, UC Davis students coming out with a, a degree, and during those degrees, they don't get as many lab courses uh, because the state is cut back. So they come to Solano Community College to get their lab experience so they can actually get a job in the biotech mm -hmm. field. That, that is, is just so one great. example. That's why these programs are so important. And we believe that if students come out um, to this event, uh, April 27th, just to see the possibilities and explore their career options, it, it, it will really benefit their lives. Yeah, so it's not just for high schoolers, but even college students will come in and um, could uh, actually if you're an engineering student, you could take a welding course because that does impact uh, your career. The ability, you know, that, not that you just have the theory yes, that is being taught in an academic environment, mm -hmm. but you have the practice okay. that you get at a community college where you could mm -hmm. actually that, learn to weld. That's true because, you know, when you write, because as, um, uh, in my experience, you have to write technical instructions. Mm -hmm. And if you don't have the practical knowledge, how can you give the instruction to the workers to do the job. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's really exactly very right. true. Uh, so that's great. Mm -hmm. And yeah. it's, it's actually a, an event that's targeted towards families. So uh, we've even gone so far as to have the cafeteria on campus create a $2.50 lunch. It's a hot dog, chip, soda lunch. So a family of four could spend the day experiencing the career technical education fair, taking tours of campus, learning about financial aid through workshops, uh, adult reentry workshops, but the whole family can participate and have lunch for $10 for four people. So we've really taken into consideration what can we do to make this campus, to open it to the community, welcome them, and make it a place where people can spend the day learning about careers, learning about education, and not just the topics of, you know, these are the industries, but how do I get into school? How, you know, workshops on admissions, workshops on financial aid. What does it take for me to actually enroll and become a student? What are the programs? You know, what classes are available during the day, at night? How can I fit this into my schedule? You know, and building upon that, that comment, um, I tell this to people all the time. If a student can afford to go to high school, they can afford to go to a community college. Uh, tuition is just from 1100 to $1,400 a year for a full-time student. That's the tuition for an entire year. That's right. The University of California now is 13000 So our tuition is just one-tenth. Mm -hmm. And then if you're able to live at home, you know, cover your transportation and, uh, and books, it is really, truly affordable. Uh, and then the state waives the, uh, those fees for lower-income students. So it's an affordable way. Uh, the community college system has really, uh, through the state chancellor's office, focused on three core things. Remedial education, career technical education, as we've talked about, and also the transfer, the, the transfer to a four-year university. Those programs are really crucial. But if I could just add on a couple things yes, that Cynthia's talked about. Do. So um, the career education fair has been going on the past two years. This would be the, the third year for that. And as we looked at that event, we said, you know, it, it's such a great event. Let's build upon it. It was on a Sunday. We've moved it to a Saturday. And we've added fun things for the family. There's That's a Day right. on the Green concert. There's a, a car show for muscle and classic cars. 
We've got an alumni and friends mixer that day, so if uh, the folks you know, who went to Solano Community College want to come out and maybe connect with a professor or see the programs, how they've progressed over the years. Um, I was actually a community college student at Solano many years ago. I won't say when, but I will <laughs> say that right. the trees were very small then. <laughs> <laughs> The but campus has matured very well. It's actually a beautiful place now. Mm -hmm. So if you haven't seen it in years, please, please come out. So we've got that uh, alumni and friends mixer. Uh, oh, yes, beautiful. we're definitely, we want to welcome alumni home. Yeah. So we definitely want to make that message clear that if you are an alum of Solano Community College, please do come Saturday, April 27th. We're planning a, a lovely lunch and mixer. Um, and we do want our alums to, to come home, visit the campus. They might want to continue with uh, educating themselves or, or gaining new skills, or maybe they want to bring their children to introduce them to the campus that you know where they studied. So this is a great opportunity for uh, alums to come back to campus. This is great information. Um, my next question is: the last date mentioned on your Save the Date card is the May Fourth Solana Community College 2013 Gala or the annual awards banquet. Right. Could you describe to us what this is like and what, what is the purpose or significance of this gala event? Uh, this, this is the inaugural event. And you know what it is? It's about celebrating what Solano Community College means to the community. Okay. Um, it is going to be our awards banquet. We're inviting yes. the community That's in. That's beautiful. Uh, we've the awards. The, that it absolutely is. It's going to be a fabulous event. Um, and it's something that we'd like to carry on. Uh, you know, when we've looked at the number of students in this county that, that start their careers and their, uh, and their college dreams at the college, we think we need to celebrate that. So it's really a culmination of these events that are going on. We had the alumni, uh, or rather um, the, uh, the Solano Business Connections, the Chamber of Commerce uh, event last night. We go to the uh, Celebrate SCC and their Career Education Fair on the 27th. And then the following week uh, is the, the gala, the Celebrate yeah. SCC gala that uh, we think is going to be a great to event. We want to dress up too, you know. Yes, right. <laughs> it's going to be a lovely evening. We're going to have music so. and uh, like Kurt mentioned, the awards presentations to celebrate the success of the folks on campus. I missed it campus. last year. I missed it. I think it last hasn't year. happened last it hasn't? year. It they didn't? had the 65th anniversary a oh, couple years ago. Oh, 65th anniversary. Right. I misunderstood right. that. Mm -hmm. because I thought that was the, you know, but... Uh, I no. missed that because it was my, I think my daughter's wedding. It, uh, it happened in May, so. Mm -hmm. Well, I would say that would be a pretty good excuse. <laughs> but, but other than that, please come out. It does require reservations. The ticket price uh, is just $40, and that's a great deal for a fabulous so. dinner and evening. Um, and do you have uh, requests for sponsorships as well? Yes, as a matter of fact, for these entire events, mm -hmm. the community has been very, very generous. Um, all of the events that we've talked about tonight um, aren't costing the college anything. That's great. That mm -hmm. uh, the community is yes. really outreach and outpouring from the community support. It's been fabulous. So, um, yeah, the, these events are, um, are all being done uh, through our sponsors. And if I may, let me just mention them if I yes. could. Our title sponsor is Momentum Auto Group. And Momentum has a big presence in Vallejo, as well as Fairfield, of course. And then we've got the, um, the uh, McDonald's Yin Foundation, that's C.C. Yin and his family foundation. Mm -hmm. Billy and you, uh, Louise Yarborough Family Foundation. Uh, we've got PG&E, uh, Kitchell, which is our construction manager uh, company on site. North Bay Healthcare has been a tremendous uh, partner as well as KUIC, Kaiser Permanente, National University, Landmark Image, Smile Business Products, American Public University. So we've gotten our partners together That's great. And, uh, and they've supported these events and it's uh, good what, to see. When, if you want to reach other people, what, you know, we, are, we always talk about, we here at BCAT uh, operate mostly on volunteers because, uh, because of money problems. But um, so what what could volunteers do for you? Uh, do you are you uh, issuing, um, you know, a cry for volunteers, or or are, do you need volunteers to be there for you? Well, let me tell you that Great. any foundation that's successful has to have a strong core 
of volunteers. Of volunteers. And fundamentally, it needs to be a part of the community. Okay. That uh, because Solano Community College is such an essential uh, organization to the entire county, we would love to see our board members as well as our volunteers come out. Uh, please feel free to contact us. Uh, our phone number is 707, of course, 864 7177. Just give us a call. Um, and uh, we'll be happy to sign you up as a volunteer because it really is crucial. And a strong volunteer showing uh, is really, uh, you know, really is a, is a good way to demonstrate how important an organization is. The other thing that I wanted to say, Please. that the college, uh, Dr. Laguerre and his leadership and our board, they've made the decision to have full-time staff. Um, right. I, I've got the distinct uh, advantage and, and I'm really honored to be in this position and be able to focus um, with the Education Foundation. In the past, it's always been not a full-time like job. So that's really, that's really a benefit. Yes. And we would like to reach out to VEBA and the other um, nonprofit uh, education foundations in the county, and, and I think we can really assist them. Um, I think that's really important. That's great. Oh, and I'd like to add something yes. about volunteers. Please, um, please. Um, the, the type of volunteers we're looking for fall into a variety of categories, a variety of skill levels. So uh, the volunteerism we're looking for is at the level of a board member providing direction and, and vision, um, all the way to a person who wants to take tickets at a, an event. Um, to someone who has technical skills, who wants to help us build our website or build our database, and who has those computer-related skills. That helps. That um, helps. To even someone who wants to come in the office and, and help us out um, with administrative functions. So um, as a relatively new, mature organization, <laughs> um, so we're cool. actually looking for um, just a variety of, of skills and time commitments. Um, from folks in the community who just want to help contribute to education. So, it, you know, it, because we are dependent on events, um, what other events are you planning for the near or distant future to benefit the foundation, other than what we have already discussed, uh, maybe in general, or I, I don't, yeah, it, yes. If I may talk about that. Yes. One of the key, um, we need events, basically, we don't view them as fundraisers. We view them as an opportunity to reach out to the community I think that's and bring you, the community that's how I've seen into, it. into the college. The last, whether, last, right, as last yesterday. night, that was bringing small business that's into right. the college. Celebrate SEC and the Career Education Fair is about bringing the public out to the college. But what our, our next major effort is actually going to be an alumni marketing campaign. And, and uh, we'll be starting uh, work on that in May and June. And we also have a theme for that, and the theme is, who are we? We are community and business leaders who are proud to be SCC alumni, and we're community business leaders that started our college dreams, our college dreams and careers at SCC. Well, we, I have enjoyed, personally enjoyed, and I, I'm going to speak for VCAT, we have personally enjoyed your coming here today. Thank you. And the information that you have provided us, uh, I think it will help because I love Solano Community College. I okay. love the people who are there. And uh, I will be always there to support them. So thank you very much for coming today. And thank you. Thank please you come us. back. Please come back whenever you have a need to communicate something to the public. Thank you. Appreciate the opportunity. Thank you. Thank you.